Hey guys, it's your boy Zach from Zachary's World and today's topic is going to be about the impacts of the N-word. And so the reason why I decided to make this video is because there's so many young people who just like to call their friends, you know, the N-word. But, you know, they don't really realize the psychological or physical implications of that. They just call their friends, you know, um, they just call them friends, their friends my nigga or you know um, this nigga right here or you know them man there are just a bunch of you know um, annoying niggas or you know I'm just giving you guys examples here yeah? but the thing is whenever somebody calls me the n-word I basically just tell them like you know take a good look at me up and down do you see any chains or shackles on me I mean the reason why I say that is because I don't see myself as a slave or having that slave like mentality. I mean people will just say this as an excuse to allow them to say it. You know, the excuse is that, you know, oh we're changing the ER at the end of um you know N I G G E R. It's not going to be N I G G E R, it's going to be N I G G A. But at the same time it still conveys the same message. And that word was, you know, some people may say it was used to, you know, describe black people in those times. But if I'm being really honest, the whole background of that word is just surrounded by racism. That's what it is. And slave black mentality. And I tell lots of, you know, young black, young black youth to like not use that word. Because it's basically, every time they say that word to one of their friends or their associates, they're basically saying, like, you know, they basically put in their minds subconsciously that I see myself as better than you and I see you as lower than me. And we more, may call each other friends, but when it comes to actually who's better, I obviously see myself as better and think about myself. And so, you know, because of that, I just feel that I can call you that. I can call you the N-word. Or because I feel like I can. Or because I feel like you're not up to my level. You may be friends, you may be in the same circle of, as friends. But I don't really have a lot of respect for you. Because I see you as a slave. I see you as somebody, you know, who can't aspire to be great. Because you're just one of them casual followers, you know. I'm also a casual that I'm also a casual follower too. But then in their minds, they'll actually say, I see myself as better than you. And calling people the N-word actually has a lot of implications down the line. Like the more and more it's said to someone, the more and more, you know, they'll actually take on those things and apply it to themselves without even thinking about it consciously. And so like it can inf it impact them on, you know, what college they want to go to, what university they want to go to, or even what jobs they want to do. Or, you know, and they may feel like some people, because they're of a lighter skin tone, may, you know, or they're not from an ethnic background, may be selected for better things than what, there was, than what they've been selected for because of their, because of them being black. And I'm saying to people that they shouldn't indoctrinate other people to use the N-word because then that's just going to be promoting negativity and promoting discrimination and disrespect amongst your friends. And lots of people also use the excuse that, oh, because I'm black I can say that word, but anyone else who says that word is racist or whatnot. Yeah, but doesn't that mean you're being racist to yourself? You know, not every single, you know, black, black person is the same. You know, some people may have similar, you know, you know, may have similar skin tones, but that doesn't mean they're the same. So everybody, they shouldn't all be generalized as, you know, they are being called and being labeled with the nigger word. Because I, I don't even care. I mean, that word is, is actually really disgusting. And whenever people say that towards me, straight away I just tell them, do you see any chains or shackles on me? I'm a young black boy, I know who I am, I know where I'm going in life and I don't have time to surround myself with people who are just going to try and push me down all because of my skin colour. Right, so fine, if you're another black boy who basically has a similar skin tone to me but it's not the same, not the same skin tone and you're calling me that, yeah that's not fine whatsoever because it doesn't matter whether someone's Asian, black or white, you know, of uh, uh, any background whatsoever you know, that all goes into the a stereotypical 
point of view of seeing people of ethnic minority and I really think that's something which you know should not be in the lives of people in 2020. I believe we're going into a new decade and we shouldn't be you know um, we shouldn't be filling all sorts of into the lives of other people and putting that into their um, subconscious minds or because we feel like we're better or because we're selfish and we have our own insecurities that we don't want other people to know about so that we feel stronger than them and they don't feel stronger than us. That's another video from your um, boy Zach guys. Like, share and subscribe or comment down in the comment section below so that I can see what you guys think of my new videos. And um, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great brand new year and see you guys there on another video. Bye.